Hello everybody, this is Simon. <laughs> I'm your evil tutor lord video guy. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to render like HD movies from 3DS Max, or the best way to do it, because I found I had a lot of trouble with AVR, so I'm going to show you how to do it using After Effects. You don't need to know anything about After Effects, I'll just show you how to do it, and it's nice and easy. Anyways, first of all, so I've got my project set up, and I have my little <coughs> scene that I want to render, all moving around and all pretty, so the way you render it is, come up the top to render setup. So here, make sure your active time segment is turned on, because that's going to render frame 0 to 900, but what we want to do this time is, I'm also going to change it to HDTV video as well, and go 1980 by, uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, but as I was saying, what you want to do this time is render them uh, as like 900 different images or 900 different frames and then what we're going to do is put all those frames together in After Effects to make the video so it's all HD and pretty like. Um, so come down here to Files and let's see how to Desktop and then what you want to do is render out all your pictures. Now you can choose whatever image format you like, After, it takes, After Effects takes most of them. I'm just going to use JPEG because that's the most commonly used kind of one here or that people know about. So, yep, sweet. And what you want to do is have a new folder and call it like output uh, output render or something like that just so you have all your pictures in there. So you're in the file now and just go right ahead and press save and then whatever quality you want it. And then down here, camera 3, yes. And you can select whatever you want to render it kind of thing. Uh, then you go down here, press render, and then hopefully it will start rendering it frame by frame. And it will go through it all and render out all of the pictures that you want. So you can see here, frame 4 of 901. Now I'm going to cancel it because I've got one that I prepared earlier. So once that is all done rendering, it's going to look something like this. You can have all your pictures here, all your frames to actually make it a movie um, like 24 frames a second and so this 900 frames uh, is about 35 seconds and the way you do that remember you're in your project settings um, down here when you set up your project you're saying 24 frames per second and it's pretty much uh, 24 oh sorry 900 divided by 24 um, that's how many seconds your thing's gonna be anyways once you've got all your pictures and everything, you can come into After Effects. Now this is only CS4, but it's all I have. <laughs> don't, don't diss me. But what you want to do is, you don't have to know anything about this. Just know that, okay, if your workplace is like looking funny or something like this, up at the top right here, just go here and say all panels. And they'll all pop up and whatever, you could. Anyway, what you want to do is go up to File, Import, and then down here to Multiple Files. Open that up. And I'm already on it. So you'll go to whichever folder all your pictures are in. And you go to your pictures. Open them all up. Select just one of the pictures and go Control A. Select all the pictures. Now they're already ordered. This is how they're named from 3ds Max. So it's all good for you. So select all the pictures and go down here to JPEG sequence. Because um, you want to have obviously a sequence of images to make the movie. And just say open. And this will pop up again. Um, but as you can see, over on this side, it's added this nice little thing here. Um, and it's got duration here, 30 seconds, which isn't quite what we wanted before. So what you want to do is, click on here, so you've got, this is pretty much all your project media, so what's actually going to be in your project. So, click here, right click, and go down to interpret footage, because what you want to do is interpret the way that it reads the footage or whatever it is. And if you see here, it's got the assumed this frame rate is 30 frames per second. Now remember, in 3ds Max, it was actually 24 frames per second. If this, if they don't match, the timing is going to be out on your movie. Like here, 30 frames per second, it's going to play more frames per second, and it's going to be sped up a little bit. So to get the same time that you have in 3ds Max, go 24 frames per second, and it depends on if you like how many frames you want to render per second or how you set it up, but the assignment is 24, so whatever. Say so, OK, and if you can see here, the duration has changed to 37 seconds, which is the length that we want. What you want to do is grab this, click, and drag it down the bottom here, and just drop it into 
your project kind of thing. And now as you play it um, up here, you can see, oh look, it's playing like a movie. It's it's all very pretty and nice. Um, so once that's all done, what you do is, uh, you hear, so make sure you click in here so this is kind of selected, and you go, comp uh, sorry, uh, what am I doing? Uh, I can't remember what I'm doing. Add to render queue, that's what we're going to do. So add it to the render queue and pop up, and this has got the project you just set, and it's adding it to the render queue so you can render it. And you've got your options here to render, so <clears throat> you've got your best settings, I don't want to go through all that stuff and crap. Um, the ones you really want to look at is output module here, so you've got all your different file formats. Um, just like H uh, H two six four is good for compressed and nice size files and all the rest of it and blah blah blah. But like for this one, we'll just go um, video for Windows like AVI, and this will probably be lossless, so it's going to be a pretty big file, but. You can play around with all those video settings to get the best one. Um, so press here, so output to, where you want to output it to, and I want to call it like, yay! Um, so yeah, cool, sweet, save. And so once that's all done, go over here and just press render, and as you can see, it's rendering the movie. And I'm not going to speed it up here. Instead, I'm going to drop just a mad sick joke that's copyright my brother, David Lydiard. Um... So anyway, did you hear the, they uh, changed the <laughs> they changed the theme song for Harry Potter? It's now um, Fly Like a Quidditch. Yeah. Fly Like a Quidditch. Instead of a G6, it's a Quidditch. I'll let you get over that one. I know it's hilarious. Um, but as you can see, it's rendering all my, my movie and it's nice, it's pretty, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. And it's just about done and... Boom, it's done, ping, yay. So, now back to the desktop, here's my video. It's uncompressed, it's 2.31 gigabytes, but like I said, you can play around with that, change that, and it's a lot better, but I'll open up to play it, and when it decides to play, come on, here we are. Oh, look at that, full HD, pretty video um, of your assignment, or whatever you have. And this is to avoid the issues that 3ds max has and also there's an advantage in rendering this way if your render stops halfway through um, and you're rendering it as an AVI in 3ds max you lose everything you've rendered up until then have to start again if you're rendering frame by frame and it screws up all good you just render from the frame that you well, that you got up to before it stopped rendering so yeah that's how you do it um, <laughs> see you later